Hello again, Tyson Freeze with the Cola Termite Services. Have you noticed termites in your home? Wondering what's the worst that could happen? What you don't know that's going on in the home can definitely hurt you. And the longer it takes you to get it treated, the more damage will occur. Here are some of the consequences of letting a termite problem go unchecked. Let's start with the damage. Left alone, termites can chow down on wood and other cellulose-based materials like paper, books, tree roots, furniture, and wood framing. The damage may be hidden under your home or even under your nose, and it can get so bad that it compromises your home's structure. So, most recently, we had a customer that had a storage shed in their backyard. So they had a bunch of their boxes of storage, and when we had them remove the storage, because we noticed some sort of problem starting from the outside, um, once they removed the boxes, it was a lot worse on the inside. The moisture had started from the outside and the subterranean termites found it on the inside and they started chewing away the floor of that shed. And what had to happen was basically remove the floor of the shed and reframe it with the, with the rest of the walls of the shed and the roof still intact. Another funny story in the attic, uh, we found termites in the attic, drywood termites, and since they had a rodent problem, they had rat traps in the attic also. So as you can see in this picture, there was a, a rat trap to try to take care of their rodent problem in the attic, and the rat traps were just a typical um, rodent trap. It was composed of wood material, and when we found this in the attic, it was eaten away by drywood termites. So typically the drywood termites, as they're swarming, as they do in nature, they're gonna hit the outside of your house first. So typically you will find them in your fascia boards and rafter tails first. I do recall a customer who let their infestation go for an excessive amount of time. And once the termites made their way up the rafter tails into their attic space, those rafters sit on a top plate which once the termites get in that top plate, there's a lot of uh, weight supported on that top plate. And that top plate can actually start shrinking down. We actually had another house where this happened on the first story and the weight of the second story compressed it a couple inches. And to correct that problem, we had to actually lift up the second story to take the wood off of the first story to re replace the piece of wood on the first story. So if you do come across a problem, try to get it taken care of as soon as possible. Now let's talk about the cost. Not because of exterminators, but because of expensive repairs. If there's structural damage to your home, you could be looking at thousands of dollars in damage. In the case of that customer where the second story had to be raised to replace the piece of wood on the first story, that was in the neighborhood of tens of thousands of dollars. You don't want that to happen to you. Now that's a worst case scenario, but it's definitely not one that you want to be facing. So please, if you notice any sort of activity or evidence, get it looked at and taken care of as soon as possible. This may scare you, and yes, it would scare me, but don't worry, there is a solution. Leading termite companies will come in and do regular inspections to make sure there are no termites on your property. We can also quickly treat your home or business if they do find something. Don't let it get out of control. If you see something, do something. Again, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.